The good thing about writing code is that you can always uh, reuse it and you can reuse it in uh, different ways. So let me show you something uh, really interesting today and uh, I, I'm sure you will find this uh, example useful and you will understand uh, how to re reuse your code that you have written maybe in the past for doing very simple thing but when you have to do something a bit more advanced you can combine your various code snippets and uh, I will also share how I normally do it. So let us say you have to do something when you execute this transition. So we have been looking at various post functions uh, for the past a uh, few days we have spent looking at different examples of uh, the built-in post functions. So if you are uh, let us say working with uh, Scripner on Jira, Scripner uh, for Jira on cloud then uh, you may want to use the post functions. So post functions will let you do something when you have made a transition and uh, the good thing about uh, these post functions, these uh, scripted post functions that we have been looking at is that you don't really have to write any piece of code, any any code at all. I mean, it, it, it really depends. If you want, you can also write code. But uh, the examples that we were looking at were basically using the built-in post functions. But today I want to show you how we can write our own custom code. So we have looked at all of these examples like uh, how to add, remove, an issue from a sprint, how to assign the issue to someone, how to clone an issue and so on. Now there is also an option here called uh, run script. So basically if you if you have your own script that you want to run, so you can do that. And for this example, what I will do, I will reuse my, my code that I have written earlier and I will just modify it slightly or basically I'll connect um, two different things together. So let us say when you, when you make a transition, you want to first create an issue uh, and you also want to link it to the issue uh, from where you basically executed that particular transition. So let us say when you move the issue to on hold, you want to create a linked bug maybe for example and uh, first you have to create the bug and then you have to link it. So we are doing two things which we have done before by the way. We have uh, in the past using Scripner for Jira on Cloud, we have created an issue and we have also linked linked an issue and again we are we have just used rest api so we have also done it before uh, without using script now using just uh, the jira cloud rest api and if you want you can take a look at those examples where i've used talent api so let us do it very quickly it won't take too long but i want to show you how to reuse your work how to reuse your code so what, what i want to do today is i want to create a linked issue i will uh, name it as uh, create uh, linked bug so i want to give this a nice name so that i can understand what this post function will do and we also have the option here to add some condition like maybe if you want to restrict uh, the the post function only when uh, these conditions are true we will we'll not do we will not add any condition we'll simply go to the section here that will let you add your own custom code now the first thing that we need to do is we need to add uh, we need to create an issue. So what I'll do, I'll copy my code that I have basically added uh, earlier. So you can find the code on my uh, GitHub repository. I will copy it straight away and I will paste it in the code section here. So when you paste the code, uh, you may want to modify the summary. Like for example, this is uh, issue created from on hold transitions post function. So this is the summary and you have to specify the issue type ID and project ID. So these two things are important. Uh, so let us find it very quickly. The, the ID, the first of all, let us figure out the project ID. So if I go to the Android project, um, the ID is something that you can always find somewhere in the URL. I mean, it is of course uh, um, a quick and easy way to find it, but you can always do it using REST API, but I'll show you. It is not very difficult. So if you go to the project settings, you will find this ID in the in the uh, address bar. 
uh, where you have the URL. So the project ID is the 10037. So let me go back to my post function and uh, I will modify this as 10037. And no, not this one. This is the issue type ID. So my project ID is 10037 I, I, and I need to also figure out the, the issue type. So I need to create, let us, in, let, let us say, a bug. So I'll go to the issue types and I will hover my mouse on top of bug and I can see here, so you can see here uh, in the URL that the issue type ID is 10009, one, one So I will modify the code here to basically have 10009 so that we, we, we can create the issue in the right project and the right issue type. Now at this stage, if you want to run this, it will work because this because this is a complete code but uh, instead of returning the uh, because we because it is a post function we, we may want to use the logger so we can do something like this logger dot info and uh, i just want to enclose everything in the um in, the, in this particular in this logger dot dot info method so maybe i want to create uh, this issue and I want to basically have this uh, locked somewhere in the execution history. So when you take a look at your execution history, it will be reflected. You will get a message here, message in the execution history that uh, success created with the key of uh, this key, the key that you will get if of course it is successful. And if not, you can always uh, log everything else like maybe the whole body. In case things go wrong, you can see the response. So what I want to do, maybe I want to basically create these methods. So at this stage, we have a complete code that will basically create an issue, a bug with this particular summary. Now we want to do a bit more. We want to also link that particular issue to the same issue from where that particular uh, um, post function was uh, from, 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 from the transitions post function basically. So the issue that you're working on and if you click on the on hold that issue will be linked to this newly created issue so for creating a linked for, for creating a linked for creating a link basically we will use the we will reuse the code that we wrote few weeks ago and uh, we will save our time now what i can do i can of course uh, so we have to first create this particular issue when the response is a success so you can basically insert that code here somewhere here if you want now instead i want to basically create uh, a method because i, I prefer creating a, 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 i think it is probably a bit better way to handle the code maybe if you want to just uh, not create a link you can simply comment out the method and that is it so let us create a method and i want to maybe name it as uh, create issue link and uh, this is a method and I will simply paste my code here. So this is this is all good. Now when you create, so let us take a look at this, this method here that we have just uh, created with the code that we copied from our previous, previous example. So we have to create uh, this uh, link where you have to specify the outward issue and the inward issue and you have to specify the issue key of outward inward issues and at the same time you have to specify the link type now for this example let us say your i mean you can basically pass the outward and inward issue key in the parameter of your issue so let us use this uh, let us use this here so let us say your outward issue is uh, the issue from where you are executing the transition so it will be issue outward issue here like maybe you can do something like this you, you just create this uh, argument outward issue and uh, key and the second one will be inward issue and key and of course don't worry about uh, uh, I mean we'll, we'll pass we'll, we'll get the key don't worry about it we'll get the key of both the issues the issue from where you're executing the transition and uh, the newly created issue so in the method here, in the um, inside the body, you can specify the key here instead of this hard coded 
hard coded string so you can specify something like outward issue dot key no not dot key only key and uh, also the inward issue key and this looks good and by the way i'm keeping this uh, issue type link as blocks let us keep it as hard coded but you can always use one more parameter so this looks all good and what i want to do now I, let me first take a look at the i think there is one additional curly braces so i'll uh, get rid of them and i think this looks good now hopefully maybe not okay this is fine um, so let us uh, call this method so the method is uh, <clears throat> create issue link and the first parameter is the uh, first argument is outward issue key so let us call this here and the outward key is let us say the outward issue is let us say the current issue so that would be issue dot key that is it so issue variable is there for you in the post function it is like the binding variable if you're familiar with script or jiron server uh, so this so there is a binding variable and uh, the second one is uh, this one here so we already have bo both the keys for both the issues and uh, this should work and uh, let us wait for uh, the so if you check here on the right hand side let me get rid of my face there is a green tick here it means that there is no error it is always handy and uh, i think this is fine and uh, let us try let us try if it works or not i hope it works we spent a few minutes although we didn't really do any i mean we just reused the code that we wrote earlier and that is how you should do it and that is why i also keep a repository a personal repository of different small things that i can do and I, and whenever i whenever needed i just combine them to save time so this is fine and we have a post function added with our own custom script let us test it of course we have to test the new the newly created post function so let me go to one of the bug and uh, i'll move it to on hold so it is already on hold let me move it to to do first let us click on the to do and then we'll check how it how it, how it behaves i hope it works so before i create before i execute the, the post function before i move the st status before i move the issue to the on hold status i just want to see if there is any linked issue already or not so there is no linked issue it means i mean you can always check because we have a custom summary so this looks fine and uh, let us do it let us click on it on 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 on, on hold and uh, we'll validate so after you create after you execute this transition you can uh, maybe wait for maybe a couple of seconds or just refresh if you are impatient like me and there is there is a linked issue and it says issue created on issue created from on hold transition post function the same summary the same summary that we gave that we wrote in the script and you can always go to the issue and you can take a look at the issue type it is definitely bug of course it is a simple example you can also set other fields if you want and you also have a link back and by the way if you want to figure out how, you know the like the difference between inward and outward links you can watch my videos i have a few videos on this topic but this works and uh, we have we have successfully reused our script uh, that we wrote earlier of course two scripts not just one script and that is all i wanted to share in this video we will don't worry we will uh, cover more examples doing wonderful things with the uh, script on for jira on cloud post functions so i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much